Aye, easy as goblin pie. I'm here. Vita Mortis ready. Get the word. Vita Mortis. I'm here. Hmm? Right then. I... Huh? Yes. I will do as you ask. Power! What do you want? On my way. Ready. Ready, right up. Something wrong? I'm listening. I'm here. And here they are. <laughs> ah. Hmm? I'm here. I am ready. What's it to be? I'm here. What is your will? A reasonable Not request? A problem. Quickly now. Aye, right then. Ready, watch me go. At last, the mighty adventurer stands before me. To what do I owe this uh, honor? I have been observing your progress since you first stepped foot into my realm. It was only a matter of time before you made your way here. So tell me, why have you come? In life, I was Kresselak, the Black Wolf. In death, I am nothing. A mere shadow cursed to haunt these halls. Mm, why indeed? That is a tale long in the telling. Would you hear it? As a young man, I was a conqueror. I ravaged the lands and brought all who opposed me under my rule. I built a kingdom upon the corpses of my enemies, and I reveled in the glories of war. However, in time my sword grew heavy, my aim less true, and I realized I was growing old. For the first time in my life, I knew fear. Realizing that death would someday claim me, I returned to my homeland. For months, I pondered what course I should pursue in my remaining years. I thought of my kingdom and all that I'd fought to create, but it was meaningless to me. A kingdom lasts a lifetime, but death lasts an eternity. I decided to forsake all that I had wrought in life for a place in the afterlife. I ordered this tomb built in utmost secrecy and squandered the wealth of my kingdom doing so. Upon its completion, I traveled here with my most faithful followers to survey the work. Finding all in order, I slew the workers and buried them in the Vale outside. 
my faithful followers I sacrifice to become the guardians of this tomb. Finally, I sacrificed myself to my god, hoping to stand at his side in the land of the dead. Little did I know that my actions would instead bind me to these halls for eternity. If it is evil that you seek, then you need look no further. I stand here before you. However, I am not the one who plagues Kaldahar. For that evil, you must look elsewhere. I care not at all whether you believe me, adventurer. I am centuries dead and bound to these halls for eternity. I care even less for the living or their gathering places. If your Kaldahar is beset by evil, it is not of my doing. Go seek your villain elsewhere. Who indeed? I can answer your question, but I require a boon first. Perform a task for me, and I will answer you. Oril, the ice goddess, is worshipped by some here in the cold north. Oral commands her followers to extinguish all fires, to open structures to the cold winds, and to deny warmth a place to gather. As you can see, my tomb would be an abomination to a follower of Oral. A priestess of Oral has stood at the threshold of my tomb and gazed within. Recently, she attempted entry, but my guardians foiled her. Now that you have slain my guardians, there is nothing to prevent her from returning and carrying out the will of Oril. I do not wish to spend eternity in a cold, lightless hell. Find this Auralite and slay her. Only then will I answer you. Excellent. Be quick about the task, for even now I sense her presence within the Vale. Return to me when you have dealt with her. Until then, I have nothing more to say. I'm here. Watch me go. Hmm? I is that all? Yes. My feet ache. Request. Can we rest now? Ready. Not a problem. Whatever we have to do. It'll keep till morning. Let's rest. <laughs> I can do that with my eyes closed. Not a problem. I'll be needing rest soon. Done. Is that all? I'll 
be needing rest soon.